Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm continuing some penetration tests. Um, yesterday when I shot these steel barrels, they were about 15 feet apart. And what we saw is that the 223 round pretty much terminated at the third barrel, okay? Um, so today what I did is I've got them all together, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot at them and I want to see how much of a difference the space makes between the barriers, okay? So let's try this out. So let's take the camera and see what we did. Okay, so let's see how much of a difference um, having the, the barrels close together uh, makes. Uh, basically, we know that it's going to penetrate the first three, so we're not even going to look at those. Um, for, one three, for one reason, these have way too many holes in them, so I can't even tell which uh, the, the new holes are. But um, we're going straight to the fourth one because that's where I want to see if there's a difference. And uh, the old holes are marked with these black circles over here. Um, and we can see that we've definitely got new entry holes. Okay, I shot uh, five rounds at this. And I can see one, two, three, four came in. And then on the outside, one, two, three, four came out. Um, and yeah, this is interesting. And uh, this is also interesting. I can see there's, because these are not there before because I would have marked them. I only fired five rounds. So what I think happened is when, uh, when, when it came through here, pieces of, um, you know, fragments came out and actually impacted. So these are, these are fragmentation holes, I think. So I'm pretty sure those were not there before. So I think those are fragments. They might be just from the steel barrel, right? When it came out, you know, pieces of this barrel may came out and hit over here. Um, but we definitely got exit holes on the fourth barrel where yesterday when I had them about 15 feet apart, I had, I could not get into the fourth barrel at all. And uh, let me take a look at the fifth barrel. So this is what, okay, here, let me get that out of the way. So these over here are new. Actually, we can see the bullets over here. That's the one that came through. You can see chunks of lead there. It's impacting. So by the time we get to the fifth barrel, that uh, you know that two two three round has lost all its energy, um, and it's fallen pretty much below the power of a twenty two, except for one round. Uh, but we definitely improved by one barrel, because like I said, we could only get to the third barrel yesterday. And today we're we're making it to the fourth barrel, um, you know, you know, pretty reliably. So the space between the your barriers matters, you know, um, you know. So in a home defense type of situation, you know, your walls are about ten feet apart. You know, if you miss your if you miss what you're shooting at, right? If you miss the bad guy and the bullet keeps going, you know, once it it goes from one wall to the other to the other. By the time it's exited the house, it's lost a lot of its a lot of its energy. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, add a piece of the video from yesterday where I had the barrels further uh, spaced apart. In case you guys uh, did not see that video, um, and you can see what difference it makes when the barrels are about 15 feet apart. Let's uh, get the camera and let's walk down range and see what the uh, you know what happens to the two two three round, which is very similar to the five five six, as it goes through these uh, through these uh, you know these barriers. Okay, so this is my first the first barrier. These are all the shots I put through it. All right, let's go to the second one. Okay, so you can see after they went through that first steel drum which as I explained earlier was pretty thin skinned. The uh, 22 is able to penetrate this. You see how they're keyholing, right? See how they all keyhole. Now these ones that I have marked with circles, those I shot earlier, I did another video on that. 
So the ones without the uh, the circles are, are ones that I just shot. All right, so they keyhole through. You know, I can see they came out the back. I can also see that some of the uh, there's little lead chunks in there. So so the um, you know I can see about the jacket like over there. I can see the jacket was actually actually came off, and I can see lead starting to peel off. Okay, so let's go to the third drum now. So for one thing, the uh, when we get to the third drum. Um, we're st still keyholing. Like I said, don't look at the holes that have the, uh, don't look at the black circle holes. Look at the ones that don't have the black circles because those are fresh. I just shot that. Now this is interesting. No penetration there. Okay, we got some penetration, right? Penetration, penetration, penetration. Okay, penetration, that's a new one. But we also have cases of no penetration. Okay, no penetration. No penetration. Okay, so... Um, by the third steel drum, um, we're, we've, we're, we're starting to really bleed velocity and energy, uh, and we're starting to drop down to the point where, where we cannot reliably um, penetrate the, these barrels. Okay, so basically we're below the power of a 22, and if you look in here, you can see bullet fragments that got trapped in the barrel. So we got bullets not exiting. To me, this makes a great case for uh, for why the AR-15 is such a great home defense gun because you know it's got a lot of power. Like you see those 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 car rims I have on the ground over here. Okay, the uh, the, the the 223 will penetrate these these car rims out to 250 yards. Okay, right here they're at about 25 yards. I shoot them at, but uh, I'm able. Oops, there it is. I'm able to penetrate these rims all the way out to 250 yards, and yet once you come, once you go through uh, four steel barrels, uh, you've lost all your energy. Now, now a lot of it has to do with more with the bullet destabilizing, and you can see, you can see here, it's gone through three rims. It's hitting the backside, it's denting it, but it's not coming through. See that? It's just denting it. That one came through. That one barely came through. Probably a fragment. Same here, probably like a fragment. But this is really interesting. You know, this one over here just kind of it hit the back and it just took the took the paint off of it. Let's take a look at it from the inside. See that right there? Came through. Just ripped it just a tiny little bit, but definitely didn't make it through. Look at that right there. See that? See that? These are all bullets that. So most, most of the bullets got stopped by the, uh, by you know, by a third rim, uh, the rim, the third, the third barrel. I kept saying uh, rim, the third barrel. They got stopped. Definitely, you know, on the exit side. Some of them on the entry side. Okay, because that never got through. That never got through. That never got through. So and, and the reason is because this is you know these these steel drums. Um, you know, even though they're, they're thin-skinned, you know, you're shooting such a light bullet, right? It's only 55 grains, right? I'm using 55 grain bullets that once they go through that first barrier and they destabilize, they really don't have much mass. 